We needed to locate Ryuichi Cooper, Master Ninja, and Master Chef. According to the Cooper clan history, Ryuichi Cooper was actually the inventor of sushi. After creating this delectable dish, he opened a sushi restaurant, which, while very prosperous, also provided the perfect cover for a ninja. When we got to Japan, it was obvious something was very wrong. What should have been a peaceful village was more like a heavily patrolled military base. We located Ryuichi Sushi Restaurant only to find it shut down and under guard. Things got worse when Bentley discovered that Ryuichi was locked up in a new high security jail, allegedly for serving bad sushi to the Shogun. It all sounded like a pretty tough piece of fish to swallow. We needed to get to the bottom of the situation. And the first order of business was getting Ryuichi out of prison.
Camera work? Correct a mundo, Monami. I need some shots of the prison entrance and the samurai armor those big guards are wearing. You should also grab some shots of Ryuichi's restaurant. We may need those for later. Capiche? Uh, yeah. I got you, pal. But maybe we should stick with English. Sayonara, Cooper-san. I can't believe we made it out of Paris in one piece. These guards look like real bruisers. And real ugly, too. That was definitely not his best side. Something tells me the inside looks even worse. How will I explain this to Carmelita? Time travel? She'll never believe it. behind it. I think the next time I see Carmelita, I better duck first and ask questions later. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mmm, I love sushi. Why, there's some kind of commotion outside the local geisha house. Go check it out and grab some shots, too. Bentley, remind me to buy you your own camera. <laughs> This guy definitely looks out of place. I better get a shot of this guy's ugly mug for Bentley. He should be crawling around a tropical jungle somewhere. I'm pretty sure they didn't smoke Cuban cigars in ancient Japan. I'm sure I recognize that guy. He's wanted by Interpol. He's a ruthless mercenary general responsible for overthrowing several small countries. So what kind of mess are we in, Bentley? I don't know, but one thing's certain. My hunch was correct. We are the only ones with a time machine. Your database security, Murray's pants. Whatever, Sly. This is no laughing matter. I've checked, and there really is no way in except for the front entrance. I think there's only one option. The doorbell. Very funny. No, you're going to need a disguise. Get yourself a suit of armor from those guards. That's our way in. Roger that. Just call me Samurai Sly. <laughs>
Why, you got the helmet! This out on the guard of the prison door. the door. Hmm. A little short to be a commander, aren't you? Who are you? Why, I am Major Mugshot. Huh? Mugshot? I've never heard of you. Ha! Huh. You dare question me? Son, I've been a guard since you were just a squealing piglet. Wait until I tell the general about this. I hear he loves pork chops. Wait, I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. Please, go right in.
corpse before the guards spot you. That samurai armor should do the trick here. cross-pass with clockwork. Are you okay? Your guards all seem to make very poor jokes. Come on, I'm not one of those bozos. I'm here to bust you out. The name's Sly. Ah, uh, I see. A fellow ninja. Very good. You will need to make your way to the Dragon Bridge to reach this cage. Hurry up! Okay, I'll be there soon. Just stay put. <laughs> very funny. I must have read about him in the Thievius Raccoonus a million times. Oh, my God. 
Cooper. Amazing. I'm probably his biggest fan. Thanks, Bentley. How about some good news? Look around, Sly. One of these guards must have the key. See, that's more like it. Hold on, Ryuichi. 
Archie. You won't be a prisoner much longer. I do not know you, but only a true Koopa could have reached this cage. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to alarm you, but my full name is Sly Cooper. Uh, I'm your relative... from the future. Do not worry, ninja are never alarmed. With all that has happened here lately, I believe you. Oh, oh, oh. Now perhaps you would open the gate so that we may escape certain death. Right, of course. After rescuing Ryuichi, we returned to the hideout. Unfortunately, there wasn't much time for family reunions. We needed to figure out what was going on, and fast. Ryuichi confirmed that the source of the trouble was the tiger we had tracked in the village, someone calling himself El Jefe. After some more database digging, Bentley was able to uncover his Interpol file. El Jefe had an impressive record. Over the years, he had taken over dozens of small countries around the globe usually for the highest bidder. He was a ruthless mercenary and military strategist of the highest order. In fact, he once boasted that he could overthrow a country commanding only three blind mice, armed with plastic spoons. According to his file, this guy had mysteriously vanished a while back, just as the authorities were closing in. Well, we had found him and we needed to take him down. It looked like we were in for a tough battle, so we decided to start with Ryoichi's Sushi Shop.